Hi guys, Barnaby here once again for Spurred On and we've got a little special for you today. Uh, the boys over at Coy's News, follow them on Twitter, at Coy's News, have done an article about our right back dilemma and I thought we'd talk about it and get to the nuts and bolts of how things are going to go this season, who we want to play, that kind of things, and then you can let me know what you think. So obviously we've just bought Kieran Trippier who will be fighting with Kyle Walker for the right back first team slot, I think. But then you throw in the fact that last January we bought, bought DeAndre Yedlin and we're left with three into one. And we know that doesn't go. Let's say there'll be one for the squad as well. Is DeAndre Yedlin going to go out on loan? Now, there's been lots of rumours that DeAndre Yedlin, obviously American uh, national player, he plays right back or right midfield for the American national team. And it is part of our American week, so we should big him up a bit. Great haircut. What a guy. Uh, I think there's a high chance he's going to go on loan to somewhere like Norwich this season. Uh, a kind of mid to lower placed Premier League club where he can get that experience similar to how Danny Rose did at Sunderland and Carl Walker did back in the day at Aston Villa. I think that's likely to happen, leaving Kieran Trippier and Kyle Walker to fight it out for one place. But before I get into that, let's also not forget that we've got Ryan Fredericks as well. Ryan Fredericks is a young right back. He's done well for the development team, done well in the under 21s. He's always looked good when I've seen him, but there's lots of rumour that he's going to end up following Chris Ramsey, our old assistant manager, over to QPR because he's now the manager there. They're talking about two million pounds. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what you think, but two million pounds for a player who's never really hit the Premier League first team with us is another great deal from Levy, isn't it? Is Baldini talking to QPR, getting the money up? It seems very possible. So let's just say I think it's looking likely Fredericks will be out the door, leaving just Trippier versus Walker. Now, in my opinion, Kyle Walker, he has been our first team right back for a couple of years now. He did brilliantly a few seasons ago. Remember when he scored that, uh, that goal, the winner against Arsenal, 2-1 at the lane from outside the box, right foot swinging across, great goal. But since then, he has always flattered to deceive. And the, I'm afraid the fact is, he doesn't defend well enough. He doesn't get close enough to his centre back. The one rule of defending is your back four, they have to be A, in a line, and B, tight. Your full backs have to be covering your centre backs in case the ball goes over their heads. And so many examples last year where Kyle Walker, when he wasn't injured, and let's not forget that he's injury prone, when he wasn't covering his centre back. In that game away at Old Trafford when we lost 3 0 and Fellaini did the damage, it was Fellaini picking up little pockets in between Walker and his centre back that did the damage. And it made Fellaini look like a great player. And let's face it, Marouane Fellaini is not a good player. He's just a you know a bulky target guy. So I want to say give Kyle Walker one more chance to really show. Can he do what happened to Danny Rose last year when Ben Davis was bought? If that happens, then it's a masterstroke for Mitchell and Pochettino, in my view. If the fact that Trippier has come in, pushes Kyle Walker to defend better, play better in all, and he becomes as good as Danny Rose was last year, then he'll be back in the England team in no time. So at the moment, the way I'm thinking is Walker's probably going to start the first game, but Trippier breathing down his neck, a real fight between them to see who's going to get the games. Trippier will definitely play all the early Europa League games, but if Walker doesn't improve his defending, I would say that Trippier will come in and he will be a very solid player. He, uh, he's very good defensively. Also, he created something like the fifth or sixth most chances of any English player in the Premier League last year from right back. He's got an incredible cross on him. Knows exactly how to put it into that pomo, the uh, position of most opportunity in between the centre backs and the goalkeeper. I think he's a great signing for us. Only a few million quid and he's going to put the pressure on Kyle Walker. Let us know what you think. Who do you think will start the Premier League game against Manchester United away on the 9th of August? Who would you prefer to be good? Who do you think has got the best chance of playing for England? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitter even. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. See you next time. Hi guys, it's Barnaby Slater here for Spurred On, and this is a special USA edition of 60 Second Spurs. That's right, it's nearly a week till the MLS All-Star game, Spurs against the All-Stars, 